my channel so thank you so much firstly for tuning in um, it's a little bit nerve-wracking starting um, back into YouTube when I've dedicated most of my YouTube videos to yoga and my yoga teaching um, but this is just so much part of my life my style my fashion are what gives me so much joy day to day so I think it's important to uh, represent myself truly on my YouTube and share all the things that I love day to day. So thank you so much for tuning in and it is get, taking a little bit of time just getting to know you guys and what you guys want from my channel, what kind of videos are your favorites. It seems you guys are nosy like me and just like to basically see what people spend their money on. Um, we work very hard day to day and yeah, I think it's really interesting what people think um, is worth investing their money in and yeah so I'm going to basically run through today a few of my basically most expensive investments that I've made the things that I have regretted maybe slightly and the things that I would buy again in a heartbeat so I'm going to also include in this video an unboxing of my latest investment piece which I might have to say is one of my favorites so far like literally I, I haven't even worn them yet and I am just so so excited to wear them it's my birthday on Saturday and I think I might have to save them until then um, but yeah let's get started so um so I'm gonna get started with a piece that I have worn quite a lot on my Instagram so you'll have already seen it and um, it's one that I saved up for last year I basically for my Christmas presents for my birthday presents I asked everyone to get me uh, vouchers for Brian Thomas which is like the Harvey Nichols or Bloomingdale's of Ireland and I saved up and I went in over Christmas and I bought myself this Prada crossbody bag so this is basically it's the shape of it is exactly the same as the nylon bag mini nylon bag that went kind of crazy popular last year everybody had it because it was nylon it was way less expensive so it was like 500 and something euro i think or five or six hundred um, and then it was also a mix of that and the other crossbody nylon bag that was in a slightly different shape so i liked this because it kind of had both trends in one you can wear the bag two ways so you can wear it without the crossbody and just with the chain and then you can also wear it with the crossbody and um, variation with the little purse and um, so basically why i invested in this one was um the leather makes it just better quality um, and obviously it was two bags in one i loved the nylon shape and um, the nylon mini bag and that was basically what i had previously planned on buying and then when i went in and i saw this one they said it was limited edition which kind of of course lit my eyes up and anything that was is limited edition or that most people won't have um i'm more inclined to go for and it's true because I literally cannot find it online anymore and um, I've tried to link it for people and it's just nowhere to be found so I like that it's kind of unique and um, I love the ruched effect I love that it's leather it was more expensive obviously than the nylon because of it being leather it was 1600 I think um, but it is a bag I'll have for life and I absolutely don't regret getting it but in saying that I'm not flush for cash and these investments are big deals for me and I wear way more gold as you can already see here gold I wear all gold jewelry uh, gold rings my engagement ring is gold everything is gold so I feel like silver just isn't really the one I should have gone for first I also feel the shape is so similar to the nylon mini that I kind of wish that I had just got the nylon mini for far less money and invested in something else um, that was a little bit less expensive. I'm not sure it's worth 1,600 for me only because of the silver, um, but it is just such a beautiful bag. I love it so much and I do wear it so much, but I'm kind of craving already for my next investment because it's something that um, doesn't go with all of my outfits. I'm already wanting to get 
kind of another investment bag with gold instead which you shouldn't already you should get a good year out of an investment before wanting to invest in something else quite similar that's indicative to me that it wasn't the smartest investment and it might have been a little bit irrational my decision in buying it because I had the vouchers and um, it was Christmas and I kind of wanted to treat myself and I get quite impatient and I wasn't willing to wait so yeah but all in all I'm not I don't regret buying it and I definitely am happy with this investment so moving on, um, my next investment I will go to are the Balenciaga runners. So um, these are the track runners. I got the uh, newer version in the white. And I'm just after realizing I've worn these like four or five times and they still have this little bit of paper. Oh my God, hilarious. Mortifying. Anyway. Um, so yeah, these, I'm gonna say, are one of my best investments. They were 790, I think, um, and I want to buy them in every single color. I love runners. Runners are what I wear every single day, day to day, and these go with your tracksuit bottoms, they go with cute summer dresses, they go with your jeans, and um, they're really great for bulking under wide leg pants. Um, they literally go with everything and I don't really care if they go out of style, I love them and I think these are one of my favourite investments for sure. Um, and I'm just going to check if that, yeah, that's on the other one as well. Um, so yeah, I do not regret this at all and I actually am just dying to um, purchase them again in another colour um, and yeah I was a little bit nervous about investing that much money in a pair of runners especially ones that are so kind of on trend uh, but I do not regret it for a second and I would invest and I will probably invest in another pair in a different colour. So moving on to my next ones I like to keep all of my stuff still in boxes because I live in an apartment with carpets and there's just so much dust everywhere. Um, so these were uh, an investment I made last year and honestly I haven't worn them that much but when I do wear them I get a lot of compliments and I feel badass. Um, I do not regret buying them. I kind of had my eye on a pair of um, brogues since the Prada brogues came out and what is her name jesse from we the people um would wear them just with everything she, she would wear them with her shorts and oversized t-shirts her dresses her just everything so um i went with the burberry ones because the prada ones were out of stock everywhere and actually i'm delighted i got the burberry instead of the prada and um, they are just so perfect so they are the kind of chunky soled brogue in black leather and literally they just go with everything so i've styled them loads of ways on my instagram which you'll be able to see i might just put a few examples here of um ones or ways that i've styled them um but yeah they are amazing quality i'm seeing here that they're kind of scratched um but i have worn them a few times and the thing with shoes especially you'll see um with my uh run through here of my investment purchase most of them are shoes i love shoes and especially when it comes to leather shoes i think there's really no harm in investing a little bit more money and I will show you at the end um maybe a less expensive brand there's always less expensive versions and as long as you're um getting good leather and good brands um I feel that you don't have to go for the most expensive but definitely these kind of shoes are ones that like my mum used to wear Doc Martens and back in the day they were probably a little bit more expensive for her and um, but she invested them and she wore them for years and the style of shoes that I would go for especially with the leather ones are ones that I hope that I'll be wearing still in five to ten years so they won't really go out of style or anything and they will just simply last for that bit longer so just show you a little bit more up close they are the burberry shoes which again i'll link all of these items and um, below and i'm also going to link some um 
kind of cheaper um, or less expensive, not cheaper, less expensive versions of all of these items um, that I have found that are still to be really good quality. Um, okay, and then moving on. Oh, I forgot about these. These are one of my favorites as well. Um, I got these last summer, the Prada sandals. Um, and honestly, I really do obviously want the Chanel sandals, but they're just so way out of my budget and I'm not even going to bother trying. Um, but these... But these, which are a little bit dusty because, yeah. I left them out for a little while and they haven't been worn since last summer. So these are my Prada um, sandals, which actually are quite worn. I wore them quite a lot. Oh, they have little um, dried flowers in from Greece still <laughs> in the soles. Um, but these are the Prada sandals I bought and I absolutely adore them. They were super comfy and um, I love the buckle detail on the side and um, the thick sole and the cross detail over the top and especially the Prada detail that you can kind of see it but it's not overstated so they were I think about 400 um, and again I will link them alongside maybe some other variations but black again chunky sandals anything chunky um I feel are just such a great addition to any outfit and especially during the summer when you're getting a lot of wear out of them you want to go for something that's going to go with everything so especially with investment pieces you don't want to go for something that's really colorful or too far away from your kind of neutral looks. You want them to be kind of understated at the same time, making a little bit of an impact on your outfit. So they were, again, one of my favorites. And before I move on to the unboxing, I'm just going to touch base on two items that aren't so much an investment, but um, are definitely, I feel like I like to add a little bit of fun or color to my wardrobe. And by far um, is one of those brands with shoes and with bags that I absolutely adore. Um, this is one of my by far bags and it's just a plain pink kind of python uh, snake leather thing um but i think it was about 300 or 290 um and it's one that i wear all of the time it really just is never going to go out of style it's so 90s and obviously at the moment 90s is really back but i think that this brand is a really kind of nice stepping stone they also do loads of nice fun patterns um i think my next one will definitely be the kind of zebra print overly shaped bag um but yeah they're a really nice brand to kind of if you're working your way up to making investments or you want to have a little bit more fun with your closet um this is a really nice um, brand to go with and then I've just mentioned these probably in every single YouTube uh, video, but my Edie's boots are um, one of my favorite investments, a little less expensive, not one of the kind of big brands, but they literally just go with everything and I get so many comments every time I wear them and they literally look brand new even though I've worn them just so many times. Um, so yeah, that's always a good sign. So. For the grand finale, um, I am gonna do my unboxing now. So, it is Louis Vuitton is the brand. So I am going to just quickly open these with you guys. Um, always the best part. And they come in beautiful little bags. So as you can see, they are shoes. So more shoes. Oh my god, the smell of leather is just divine. Um, okay, so should I say anything before I show you? One thing I will say is that with shoes anyway, and when you're making investments, it's nice to get different styles every time. So even with my bags, I'm going to run through again at the end my kind of wish list and why. Um, but... 
I think it's really important to learn from each investment, to know the good things, the pros, the cons, and why they are good investments to your closet and why they weren't good investments to your closet, and be really honest. Like with my Prada bag, I will not be buying anything with silver on a bag for a really long time because I know that gold is my go-to and it works with my closet way better and just getting to know the investments that you're making and how they elevate your closet and your wardrobe is really important when making um investments and it's something that you should take time in doing and even i know it sounds crazy but like journal about like what kind of things you need for the outfits that you like to wear the kind of style you like to wear whether it's you wear a lot of black or you wear a lot of um neutrals like i wear a lot of neutral colors a lot of beiges creams whites i don't wear a lot of black and even though black bags will go with literally everything I'm definitely going to start to lean toward buying more um, cream bags, be beige bags, browns, and a lot more golds um, in my investment. So in saying that, I bought shoes with gold. So I went with the Louis Vuitton loafer. I had my eye initially on the Prada loafer that everybody had, and I absolutely adored them. I thought they were so, so chic. Um, but in learning from my other Prada investment, um, the silver buckle on the Prada, I knew just wasn't gonna work with my wardrobe and I wasn't going to love them as much. When I saw these, I think I saw them first on the fashion guitar and she wore them with a pair of sweatpants and I was like, holy shit, like, I need, I need that. Like, that's my go-to fashion look. Um, so, yeah. I am so delighted with them. I absolutely adore them. I love that the um, sole is nice and thick, not too thick because I have loads of thick soled um, shoes. I absolutely adore the buckle. I love the mix of brown with the black because I wear so much brown um, that I loved that it kind of clashed and that can encourage me to clash a little bit more in my outfits. But yeah, they are, that was my latest investment piece. And yeah, I'm just going to run through this. There you go. I'm just going to run through um, a few of the pieces that I am dying to buy. Yeah, share basically my little wish list with you guys. I will show you images and I will maybe link them below if you're interested in maybe shopping them yourself. The first one on my list is the Bottega Veneta mini pouch. So it's like a tiny little bundle of leather basically and I just absolutely adore it and um, I love that it can be worn as a crossbody and it can also be worn as a clutch for going out I really want the white kind of or creamy beigey um color um, I think I don't have that many kind of going out fancy bags so um I would love to invest in that one I'm not sure which I will go for first, but I'm kind of leaning toward the Giacomo's um, bag first because it's a little bit more casual and because I style way more casual outfits. So here I'm going to show you the Giacomo's um, little mini bag again. I'm all about the mini bags at the moment. Um, and I'm going to go for the brown with the gold logo because I just know that that's going to work so well with my closet and I'm going to be able to wear it with everything basically that I own. I love that it's a little bit more casual so you can wear it with your um, brogues, sweatpants and a little mini bag and to kind of elevate the look. Third on my list is because I get so much wear out of the Edie's chunky boots, I would love another pair. And um, especially in Ireland, you can wear boots during the summer with dresses and your summer outfits because of the crap weather and um, one of the only positives. So I would love to get the Bottega Veneta boots in the beige color. I just think they're so beautiful and I love that they're not the black ones and they're a little bit different um, and not everybody has them. So yeah, they would be high on my wish list. Like I already mentioned, the Balenciaga runners. So I definitely plan on getting these again in another color. Um, which color? I'm not quite sure yet. I kind of would love a pair of more black gray runners but not quite sure since i don't wear a lot of black and i already have quite a lot of black shoes so i'll decide closer to the time 
I love the Gia by Pernil boots and um, I don't have anything like that and I think it's way more I don't wear a lot of heels so I would just not invest in heeled boots really at all but these I think are just so versatile they go with everything they are stylish not sure whether I would get them in black or white probably black just because they do go with a little bit more and yeah I feel like wearing those white boots in Dublin would be we like driving a white Range Rover you just doesn't quite work and um, if I was maybe living in New York or LA or something maybe I'd go for the white but I'm not sure when I'm living here my number six is the either the low or in the Celine uh, basket bag I think I mentioned this in my last video I have a H&M knockoff and um, but I just think it's the chicest bag to have for beach life which I generally have for a few months of the year when I'm working in Greece so I think it would just work really well with my summer wardrobe and then last but not least I am going to choose probably the Louis Vuitton just plain black with the gold button and um, crossbody bag I think it's really important just to have that staple piece for your closet but it's probably one of the last things I'm going to invest in and um, for a while uh, just because I have enough black and I'm going to try and stick with neutral colors and beiges and creams because they probably just give me way more joy and I'm going to learn from my investments but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I will link everything below I'm going to link all the items that I have I'm going to link a few less expensive versions and um, because I think these brands and the version the the versions I got I'm absolutely in love with but also knockoffs are just as good um, and as long as they're good quality leather it really doesn't matter about the brand. I'll also link all of my wish list and I'm also going to link a blog post I wrote on how to shop smarter and my kind of tips and tricks on how to do that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and look out on my Instagram and my TikTok for a few more styling videos and especially this weekend it's my birthday Day. so or last weekend when you're watching this but there will be definitely some Instagram videos and styling videos with my new Louis Vuitton loafers so thank you so much for watching please do like comment and even share the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos please do and I hope you have a wonderful day please do feel free to comment any requests you have for the following few weeks I just love to offer the content that you guys enjoy so bye for now and have a wonderful day i will see you again next week